Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and we're going to be doing something a little different today. Dave asked me to do his family, like a drawing of his family with our names in Japanese for his Japanese language class. This is his second year uh, taking Japanese, and I think, I think he had to write like an essay about us or something. I don't know. But I already started drawing it, and I thought, oh, you know, I should probably record this because it's drawings and stuff. So, um, so far I've done me and my cat mama. So now I'm going to do my dog, Shiloh. Um, she is a shepherd. And admittedly, I do not draw dogs an awful lot. So I'm sure somebody out there is going to give me give me some crap about this. So yeah, originally I think he was only going to do like me Shiloh for some reason and his parents and I said but what about the kitties and he said fine <laughs> so now the kitties get to be in it So you know what? I'm going to put Irma, our snake, on Shiloh's head. So I will do... We have a, um, a Brazilian rainbow boa. I should also probably mention that I've drawn myself a little more feminine <laughs> than I normally draw myself, mostly so that Dave doesn't get like some kind of weird questions from his um, from his teacher. I generally like to draw myself like more masculine, like more straight and up and down. I don't know, just preference, I guess. Look at this puppy eyes. Now these, this is just the sketch. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to ink this on camera, like, but uh, just an FYI. Okay, so let's see how Irma was translated. I translated Irma instead of Iduma to Ama. Um, and I did look up online like what other common translations of, of Irma is to Japanese. And that was basically the translation that I found everywhere. So I have a word file over here with all my translations. So I can just boop. Let's do Irma above the head like that. And then for Shiloh, the best translation I could do was Shido, which isn't close at all. But <laughs> now Dave might be trying uh, changing these translations, but that's okay. So let's actually, let's put that there. Let me change this folder to be Shiloh and Irma.
Okie dokie. So now let's do... Dave wanted to actually be in this, so Dave and Heine. Sorry, you can't see my labeling system going on. And I'm going to make my canvas a little longer. Um, just a quick FYI, I am working in CS4 as opposed to CS6. Just because it's a little simpler of a program. Like, it's not as RAM intensive on my computer. And since I'm not really doing much, it's perfect. Okay, so let's see. So Dave's not too much taller than me, so I'll put him right there. Now, if you haven't figured out, I'm basically just mirroring the images. Like, I draw one half, and then I draw the other. The animals, I'm freehanding. Um, so Dave's got a long face. I have a long face, buddy. <laughs> He's got little brown glasses, like he's got like a triangle nose. <laughs> he looks a little bit like a Muppet. Uh, yeah, now he definitely looks like a Muppet. He's my cute. I wonder what his Japanese teacher will think of this. I haven't, I never met his first Japanese teacher and I haven't met this one either, so. But like whenever he needs work done for school or whatever, I'm the, or like drawings done. I'm the, the go-to person. It's weird because, like, I've never drawn for Dave before, except, like, when he's in this class. Like, I've he never asks me to do art or anything for him. So it's kind of, like, weird to, like, have him try to, quote-unquote, commission me, where he, like, gives me descriptions of different things that he needs done. He's like, well, I don't know how you do that, but can you do that, you know? <laughs> So I'm trying to make this look a little bit like children's book drawings, like something you'd see like, you know, this is the mommy and this is the daddy kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm drawing him with a tie. He never wears a tie course the habit. I wear the ties in this family. I actually don't even know what the, the essay really says other than like who we are. I wonder if he has to say like what our job descriptions are. That'd be neat. I am going to turn off Shiloh and Irma for a minute. I'm going to move Dave next to me so that I can compare and contrast. So we both part our hair in the same direction. <laughs> so this will be...
que... So he always wears a jacket everywhere. Like a, uh, like a tweed kind of jacket. I don't know what you call that. Just a tweed jacket, I guess. Like a sports jacket, I guess, maybe? The elbow is on, uh, it's on the side. You can't see. Okay, never mind. All right, so there's our sketch for Dave, and let's flip it. It's always fun to do this. It's kind of like when you were a kid and you used to put the paint between two sheets of, uh, uh, what do you call it, like two sheets of paper or like a folded up paper, and then you... And then you unveil it. It's neat when you do that, like when you see what you've got. The only difference is that I use Photoshop. <laughs> so if my butterfly doesn't come out perfect, I can just change it to something close to perfect. Now I somehow managed to give him like lady hips. So I'm going to change that so he's like a lot more. So yeah, you didn't see me do my the drawing of me, but this is basically how I did it. So he used to have a mole right there, but he doesn't really have it anymore, and I think he kind of like shaved it off a hundred times on accident. I still have a mole. I have a mole on the end of my nose. Um, but yeah, I think he like shaved it off on accident like a thousand times, and now he doesn't have it anymore. It's funny because like I remember when we first started dating, it was so dark, like and now I, I looked at it recently and it's it's like not even there at all. But yeah, he'd always nick it when he was shaving. So it's probably just gone. He also has a cleft chin, but I don't know how to draw that. <laughs> um Maybe like that. He wanted it in black and white, but I think I'm going to add really limited color for like the hair and stuff. God, we're a happy bunch. Get rid of these guidelines, they kind of look like big earrings. <laughs> Oops, I drew my mole on the wrong layer. He. Down here. There we go. I, you know, it's not, I don't know if we call that a mole. My mom looked at it and she thinks I got it from a really bad sunburn when I was a kid that I apparently must have blacked out during because I don't remember it. Oops. Debito. What am I doing? I want... Okay, I can't 
do that, huh? Nope. Nope. Take it back. I didn't want to move it. I hope everybody thinks these drawings are super cute in this class. If they suck, well then, <laughs> like if they don't like them, well then that's his fucking problem. Cause I'm not in that class. Okay, and let's draw his cat. Uh, let's do... This cat's mean. <laughs> he found Heine as a kitten. Um, when he moved into his first apartment, like where he lived totally alone, it was it was his first apartment. Well, no, I guess he did have a roommate for a while, but. Basically, it was his first apartment where he lived alone, and he found this kitten that he raised, and I think the cat was just only used to having Dave around, so like, for instance, when I moved in and got my cat, it was like all hell had broken loose or something. But yeah, this cat's just generally, like, mean, especially to girls. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, we've only ever had, like, girlfriends of the family. Um, the family being Dave and I. <laughs> and uh, recently, we finally made a friend who was a man. He's actually the fiancé of another good friend of ours. And he came over. And Heine was like, ooh, a man, and it just loved all over him. But, like, the rest of us are spit, apparently, <laughs> to this cat. Now, the way I translated Heine, again, translations may change in the future, was to, let me get my font going, Heine. Heine. I mean, I guess I could put these vertically. Eh. I don't want to do that. Again, these names are not approved by Dave, so they may be changing. Oops, that was my tape measure. You don't need to see that. Okay, and then I think all I need to do now is his parents, Bill and Sally. Okay, so let's do Bill. Actually, let's do Bill in one, and then I'll do Sally in another folder. I'm trying to keep all the people separate from each other. I normally don't work with this many folders, but... This is just such a simple drawing that I can, I have the luxury of cutting down on layers, so I'm totally going to cheat and I'm just going to use Dave for Bill, because <laughs> they look almost identical. I don't need Heine, though. Like, 
it's kind of eerie how much they look like each other. In fact, um, from a distance, I mistake them for each other all the time. Dave's name was originally going to see what glasses. I think I'm just going to make them a little taller and skinnier than Dave. <laughs> I'm going to cheat, is what I'm trying to say. Never make more work for yourself than you need to. Pro tip. Gosh, does he wear glasses? He must. Dave and... I don't know if Sally wears glasses. Jeez, I don't remember what his parents look like. Okay. I think I have pictures in my... my closet of them. <laughs> They're gonna scream at me for making them look older. <laughs> What would his dad wear? I think his dad just wears button-ups like him, but like more cash. <laughs> more cash like the cool kids. I think he also his dad's retired, so he does like a lot of like work around the house and stuff, so I'm gonna draw him with his sleeves rolled up. So his hair would be thinner. No, I don't think his mom, I'm like sitting here trying to remember if his mom um, wears glasses. I think she only wears like reading glasses. Which is amazing because like everybody I know wears glasses full time. Because everybody I know is pretty much blind without them.
Give him cool hair. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this and erase. Wrong one. Stuff that I don't want to mirror. Now I'll leave that. Okay. Oh my god, their hips are so narrow. Yeah, it doesn't actually look too bad. Decent. Thank you. So I was looking up, um, Dave and I were talking in the car the other day, and we were trying to figure out like how you say in law. In Japanese and it sounds like the word is giddy and you would say giddy no and then you know whatever giddy no no or you know giddy no matsuko for sister I guess sister-in-law but giri from what I understand literally means like duty or obligation so it's kind of like saying they are my sibling out of the obligation of marriage or the duty of marriage, I guess. I don't know. It just seems kind of cold. I don't know if that's a correct translation of Gary in that case. It could be just like the same sound and not the same word, but sure seems like it from what I, <laughs> I researched. But I guess like saying in law is, you know, like my sister in law, meaning, you know, they are my sister out of duty or my brother out of duty of, or out of law of marriage. Um, I don't know what that's like. Neither Dave nor I have siblings, so we don't have any um, sibling in-laws. We have parental, parental unit in-laws. Oh my god, Dave's dad looks like a nut. <laughs> still feel like his legs shouldn't taper so much. I just want to say thanks to you guys for letting me be so fickle <laughs> all the time. That just seems to be my artistic forte is being super, super f fickle about everything. There. Now his legs don't taper so much. Okay. And then so Bill. Oops. Be do. 
I'm assuming he wants their names, like their full names, not just like mom, dad. And Sally, let me make some room over here. So I'm going to be running off my canvas. Um, I'm actually going to BRB just real quick. I, I have some photos of Sally and I want to look at them real quick before I keep drawing. So be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So I managed to dig up a few pictures of his parents. That I honestly can't believe I have like I knew I had pictures of Dave when he was a kid but I wasn't sure if I'd look out and find any pictures of his parents so now that I found pictures of his dad I'm going to his hair is actually kind of these are like older pictures but I think they're pretty accurate. So he kind of parts his hair in the round and Dave and I part on a side. So like that. And like this. Okay. Whatever. Good enough. <laughs> um, one thing I, I saw in a lot of the older pictures of Dave's dad, he doesn't have glasses, but I'm almost positive he has glasses, so maybe he got them later in life or something. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. Okay, so now we're going to draw his mom, the bestest lady, who's like this tall. <laughs> She's teeny tiny, but I love her so much. <clears throat> Again, hope she doesn't see this. Hope she doesn't strangle me. Now, I'm almost positive Sally doesn't wear glasses now. <sighs> Let me look at these photos. Considering that Dave is holding a lamp before time plush in this one, I'm going to say that photo is pretty old. For Sally, I'm going to I'm going to part her hair on the other side since I'm doing everybody else's hair going the other way, just to change it up some. Uh, so what are the kids wearing these days anyway? <laughs> How do women's dress? Um, my good old fallback of a sweater. <laughs> I get picked on a lot because I, I like sweaters and I like the way they look on girls. I'm always drawn girls in sweaters, basically. Yeah, this basically looks like an outfit one of my characters wears. So that's that. I 
I do this a lot where I draw the head too wide. Man, I am just narrow hipping this place all up. I don't know what's going on with me today. I, I can't draw wide hips today. It is just against the law, I guess, for me. And her head's off center. Go me. So I've been getting a lot of um, positive feedback on these videos where I just draw and talk, <laughs> even though I'm just usually like gabbing on about nothing. Oh man, I know what I should be talking about. My trip to Sequoia. So, my husband and I went on a trip with my parents to Sequoia National Forest in California. And, well, first of all, so what we were doing was when my parents got here, um, Sequoia is actually about five to six hours north of us. So when my parents got here, we got them a hotel room and um, we were like, okay, cool, we'll pick you up and then we'll head up to Sequoia tomorrow. So they stayed the night and then I called my parents and I said, all right, Dave and I are going to come over and pick you up, you know, so be down in front of the hotel and be ready. So we get there and my mom is like leaning over this woman and I'm like, and at first I was like, is she giving that woman a massage? Like this woman was laying down on the bench. My mom was like obviously touching her and like leaning over and I was like, what the hell is going on? Well then as Dave and I pulled up closer, we saw that the woman's lips were turning blue and we got out of the car and ran over and we were like, what the hell is going on? And mom said, um, we're pretty sure she's going in like meaning we as in my my mom and my dad they said we're pretty sure she's having a grand mal seizure so my dad had already run in to tell the hotel clerk that there's you know this woman outside and she's having like a major you know seizure episode and um as this is all going on a man drives up and it turns out this is the woman's father an older gentleman and, and he was saying you know she has a drinking problem and she's coming down off of alcohol and we're like ew <laughs> so it was pretty clear then what was going on and um sorry i think sally's just too big hold on yeah she's too big let me make her smaller So anyway, so he takes my cell phone and he starts trying to call this girl's mom, I think. And meanwhile, the guy, the hotel clerk is like, um, calling 911 and my mom works at hospitals. So she's trying to tell the hotel clerk, you know, like all these different technical medical terms about like what she's seen and like how the woman is functioning and stuff and the hotel clerk wouldn't hand over his cell phone to my mom to just let her talk to the 911 operator i'm not sure what that was all about that was so weird so 
Anyway, they are, um, so we're sitting around, and the woman finally starts to come to, but oh my gosh, it was, it was scary. I mean, it looked like she wasn't getting very much oxygen, and my mom had her, that's what my mom was doing when we pulled up. She had her rolled up on her side, and, um, women wear jewelry, right? <laughs> anyway, so... So we stayed a while and waited for the ambulance to come and they, they were, you know, they were really thankful that my mom and dad had been out there with her when the seizure started um, because otherwise I think she could have choked to death because she was, I mean, my mom was helping her and she was already like turning blue. It, it was not looking good. So I said I was going to go the other way, didn't I? So we stayed a while, and she got better, but they still took her to the hospital, and um, when we came home from Sequoia, my parents were going to stay at the same hotel again, and um, they did ask the front desk clerk if he had heard anything, and apparently the woman had been in um, uh, critical condition in the hospital for a few days, but was pretty sure she had been released, but still, what a way to start a trip. Well, <laughs> most of the trip was pretty uneventful, you know, like big trees, staying in a nice little lodgy cabiny hotel type thing um but <laughs> the one day we went to go get dinner and um sorry So the one day we went to go get dinner and we went to this little place. It's like one of only three places that you can actually get food um, in Sequoia without doing the hour to two hour drive out of the park. So we went to this place and um, <laughs> they have like, first of all, the service was terrible like they didn't know our order we're pretty sure they gave it away to somebody else who just like walked out and they kept trying to like pawn other orders off onto us like being like well are you sure you didn't order this and we're like yeah we're pretty fucking sure well um then they uh Then there's like, um, so let me like do a little layout here. Okay, so sorry, I keep like stopping in the middle. Okay, so here's like where you do your orders. And it was kind of like a pizza sandwich place sort of thing. So there's like a few tables inside, like benches or something. And then there's a door that leads out onto a patio. And out here, there were like three tables, okay? Well, then the restaurant connects to another kind of campy, lodgy sort of hotel. And there's like, there's like a door here that like leads up into the, to this room that's here on the ground floor. And then there's like a long, <laughs> oh God, there's like a long window here that looks into a living area. And then there was the bathroom, shower, toilet, probably sink window. We, I was sitting here. Dave was sitting here. My dad was sitting here. My mom was sitting here. I was telling my dad something. He just started laughing. He had a straight view into the sky, totally naked, taking a piss, doing whatever at the sink, and then totally naked getting in the shower. So my mom is like, doo, 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 goes into them and says, you know, there's a man in your hotel and we don't want to embarrass him, but you know, he has his windows undone. And she's also like bitching and moaning at them to get our food ready because they're like taking their sweet old time. We had been there, I mean, like 
an hour and a half, two hours or something, still waiting for food. We didn't have any other options. We couldn't leave the mountains. So anyway, um, so my mom is like, you know, there's this man in here and he's totally naked. I mean, we could see everything, you know, and, um, and they were like, well, we can't say anything to him. And we're like, what do you mean? There could be children out here for crying out loud. I mean, seeing like an old man's like winky, is not the worst thing ever, but still it was just like she kept saying well no we can't see and you know we can't say anything to him and you know if he wants to have his windows open that's his prerogative and we're like lady (laughs) i don't think he knows we can see him you know like i don't think this guy was some kind of a um a whatchamacallit like a um (sighs) ah what do you call it not a voyeur it's the opposite of a voyeur like where you like to be naked and show everybody your nakedness in your proud, naked way. An exhibitionist. Exhibitionist, yeah. But anyway, she kept saying, like, well, no, we can't say anything. And, you know, and it's like, come on, just this poor guy, he probably doesn't know that we can see him. Well, anyway finally we managed to get our food and I have to admit it was good it just took like you know two hours um but uh the next day we were like well we're not gonna go here again we're gonna go somewhere else and that was that was the plan amongst the family that's what we were gonna do but then they had a they were planning on a massive power outage so all the other eateries in sequoia didn't bring in their employees that day like to work at the restaurants so we ended up having to go back to that same lodge the naked man lodge and deal with those shenanigans goats again but this time the windows were all covered on that side of the building that looked into the hotel and um, they had a different staff on hand who, like, got our food out to us basically instantly, which was really, really nice. You know, like, I try to not be too hard on restaurant staff because you don't know, like, what they're doing or, like, what they're going through. But, nah. Nah. This was bad. <laughs> we're pretty sure they were smoking pot back there we saw lots of people just get up and leave after a while i don't blame them now okay so sally took forever that's okay i had to draw her from scratch sally um i wonder if and I'll just do it like that. And let me get text box. <sighs> also, I'm sorry that I haven't put up another video for that one commission I'm working on, but Dave needs this by Tuesday, so I'm trying to get this done before I get too invested on anything else. And I also thought this would be a good warm up because it doesn't have to look amazing. (laughs) Cute. I'm actually going to lower her features some. So yeah, I'm going to take all of this. And I'm going to crop it. I'm glad I'm uh, working on this before Dave can see it because I'm sure if I showed him this, he'd be like, great. And he would just take it and go. And I I can't have that. I can't have my work on display in such a state. <laughs> so I need to write down the sizes here. 
time to bust out the old pen and paper. The old pen. Where'd you go? There it is. I have a lot of paperwork around my my desk. So five, two, eight, two times twenty four oh eight. And that's the height. Alrighty then. I will see you in a minute. I gotta go over and set this up in Log Studio. Okay, bye.